you are what you eat. That, that old adage of what our mothers have always taught us, it just started to make even more sense. How has your life changed since you went vegan? Well, it's interesting because uh, one thing that I've uh, really been able to do is talk to so many people about what they eat and their, um, their diet, for lack of a better word. And uh, it's just been, it's been so life-changing for me because I've worked with such overweight Americans for such a long time and it's, it's about a stepping process. And uh, every day is a step because I get these uh, people that I've worked with before that are saying to me, what, are you gonna just like take out all my meat and dairy? And I wanna say yes immediately, but uh, <laughs> I know that it's like, it's, it's getting them to um, take these steps. So it's a, it's a process for all of us and all the people that I work with, but uh, I just get very excited about uh, the platform that I've been given and the information that I have to give out. And it's not just about giving things up, it's also about being exposed to new foods. What's some of your favorite new vegan food? Well, Tal Ronan is my hero now. Uh, Tal Ronan and uh, Rip Esselstyn. Uh, I love the, uh, the Engine 2 diet. Yeah. Uh, he has a, a vegan lasagna that is out mm -hmm. of this world. I still love just like my old, like, Black beans, quinoa, I mean the, the basics and uh, being able to get really creative with all the vegetables that are out there for me. And kale, I mean it's like I think I, I, I live on kale. What do you think are the most misunderstood nutrition myths? You're not getting enough protein, what about your B, what about your calcium, your D? I've had to really do my homework because my work is all about um, informing people and giving them 